What's up everyone, this is Noah with the Life of the Ziggs, and in today's video we're going to be getting into how to refinish those ugly concrete walls you got around your house, and how to finish them and make them look real good. So let's get started. Alright guys, so the first step here is uh, actually parging the walls or stuccoing them, whatever you want to call it. This house I'm working on was built in 1955. So the original foundation is poured concrete actually, not block. This works on block as well. And it will be the same process for no matter what it is. So the first step here, what I did uh, before I started actually parging the walls was I cleaned the walls, I power washed them, I sprayed them down with the self etcher. And then I went back in and chipped away any of that loose parging that used to be on the walls there which there's a good amount that came off. You don't need to chip it all off, just the loose stuff. Then once you're done with that, it's real simple. You have a spray bottle of water and you have your mixed up parging mix, which I'll link in the description down below. And you spray the wall with water to really get it wet and moist. And then you apply your mix with your trowel. And then after you do a little bit of spot, you come back with a, a masonry brush and you know kind of put your texture to it. All right, so with that being said, that's really all the footage I had of me actually parging that wall and putting that stucco on it. Um, so now we're gonna kind of just get into the actual uh, painting of the foundation. Uh, this is really simple. All you're gonna wanna do is pull away any rock, mulch, dirt, whatever it is that's gonna be in the way of painting. After you do that, then you're just gonna start spraying down the walls with like a mist, and then you're gonna have your etch and cleaner solution that's again linked in the description down below and a hard bristle brush you're just going to dip it in the bucket and start scrubbing get it wet scrub away you're cleaning it but you're also kind of etching it uh, with that being said you want to wait a, at least three four months after you parge the wall and refinish the wall before you paint it because there's moisture that's going to be in there and that moisture needs to get out of that wall so wait a few months before you paint it. It's a long process, but it's definitely worth it. And you'll get the best application and of your paint that way. All right, so now I've got the wife out there helping me. She's just starting to prime the walls there with the Valspar primer. It says it's white, but it goes on clear. That'll be in the description down below. You need to put that primer on to really help that paint grab when it's time to paint. We also covered up a couple of things. We didn't want to get paint on it. As you can see, there's blue tape around the brick up there. I did that because I wanted some nice, clean, crisp lines. You don't have to do that. Uh, and then just roll away and paint away with the primer. Uh, it's real simple, just like painting anything else. Primer did good, and it only takes, it's about an hour dry time till you could put the top coat on, so that's always a nice thing. Kind of on a side note here, this project took me about one day to do all the painting, and I'd say multiple days. I think it was about seven days worth, uh, maybe even over that, to actually parge the walls. That was physically intensive, very demanding, and I would definitely recommend to do it, you know, a few hours at a time and not try to overload yourself in one day. So now here you can see I'm starting to paint the wall with the top coat. It's a dark gray color made by Valspar. It's oil-based paint. I'm using my Wagner HVLP sprayer to put it on. It's like an $80 sprayer at Lowe's. Worked really good for this. Like I said, it is oil-based paint, so it'll take some time to clean your sprayer after, but you just need some mineral spirits to clean that up well. Uh, but this did a really good job at applying the paint. The paint was kind of thick, but I didn't... Uh, thin it down at all or anything it doesn't recommend that on the can uh, nor with the people I talk to recommend thinning it down at all I will say it definitely took longer than normally spraying something with like a, even an airless sprayer and I think part of that was because of how thick the paint was but also that sprayer it's a cheap sprayer I purposely bought it for this project because I, if I was gonna ruin a sprayer I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it but thankfully this paint, you know, went right through it, didn't ruin the sprayer, I was able to clean it out after, and I've used it on other projects since. With that being said, we're starting to come to an end to the video. Uh, one last thing is, I didn't actually spray in the window wells, as you can see. I came back with a paintbrush and, and uh, touched those up and painted around the windows there. I just didn't feel like having to cover them up with painter's tape. It wasn't sticking the best to the masonry. 
With that being said, guys, this project, like I said, took a little bit of time, but not too long, and it's definitely worth it to spruce up your foundation. I feel like it made a huge difference to mine, and I think it'll make a huge difference to yours as well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the video, guys. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.